हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर महेश कल्याण शेट्टी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग कॉम्पैक्शन ऑफ सॉय द लर्निंग आउटकम विल बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग कॉम्पैक्शन ऑफ सॉइल सो द कॉम्पैक्शन इज बीन फर्स्ट स्टडीड बाय प्रॉक्टर इन नाइनटीन थर्टी थ्री एंड ही शोड दैट देर एग्जिस्ट अ डेफिनेट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द सॉइल मॉइस्चर कंटेंट एंड ड्राई डेंसिटी फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्पैक्टिंग एनर्जी एंड दिस कॉम्पैक्शन कर कैन बी ऑप्टेन इन द लेबोरेटरी विद द हेल्प ऑफ certain experiment such as standard proctor test and modified proctor test wherein the compaction phenomena is represented here with this diagrams so the first diagram here indicates a general three phase system soil and and the first diagram indicates a three phase system in terms of solid water and air and as the compaction process begins we go on adding a water and we apply the compacting energy so when i apply the compacting energy with the addition of water the volume decreases but the moisture content increases therefore the second point we get here in the compaction curve then in the subsequently the third trial still the density increases and the water content also increases so the third point we get and subsequently after reaching to this point if you add a moisture and if you do the compaction then the water additional water occupies more volume therefore the density goes on decreasing but the water content increases so the fourth point and subsequently the fifth point we obtain so when i join all the points i will get a compaction curve and from this we can get the compaction properties of the soil now uh, the, there are many methods or sorry there are many factors which are affecting the compaction that we want to study in detail uh, the the different factors are listed here such as water content of the soil amount of compaction type of soil bearing soil being used then the amount of compacting energy used method of compaction thickness of layer and admixture now let us take a look at all these factors separately first one is the water content of the soil so the water is added to a soil it acts as a softening agent on the soil particles and becomes easier for the particles to move past one another during the application of the compacting forces so the water acts as a lubricant and it helps to reorient the soil particles and as a result of this the voids present in the soil mass will be reduced and this reduction in the void causes the dry density or dry unit weight of the soil to increase therefore the water content plays a very important role in the compaction of the soil the second factor responsible is soil type the the soil type then its grain size distribution shape of the soil grains then uh, amount and type of clay minerals present and the specific gravity of the soil all these affects the compaction and this have got a very great influence on the dry unit weight and optimum moisture content such as a uniformly graded or poorly graded soil is difficult to compact as the almost all the particles are of same size therefore there is, there are no finer material present in the soil to occupy in the voids present between the two particles therefore the compaction is not effective in such case of soil whereas a well graded soil can be effectively compacted because in the well graded soil we have the variety of sizes present therefore the voids present between the two particles will be occupied by a finer particle and the voids present between the finer particles will be occupied by still finer particles so in case of the well graded soil the compaction is very very effective then uh, the compaction is dependent on the compact 
compacting effort or energy so the compacting energy per unit volume for the proctor test is given by this equation so uh, as we aware that in the standard proctor test and in the modified proctor test we use a rammer of different specification so you, the the rammer is having a specific mass and we are allowing the mass to fall through a specific height so the compacting energy is different in standard and in modified proctor test so how this energy is determined it is a total number of blows per layer into number of layers so this gives me a total blows and uh, into weight of rammer into height so height and weight multiplication gives you the energy for one blow it is to be multiplied by the total number of blows given and that much is energy transferred for a given volume of soil so volume of the mold is to be divided here so this is how the compacting energy can be determined and more the compacting energy higher is the maximum dry density and lower is the optimum moisture content then the effect of compacting energy that also is represented here the increased compacting effort enables greater dry unit weight it can be seen from this figure that the compaction curve is not a unique soil characteristics it depends upon the compacting energy it means for a same type of soil we don't get the unique kind of compaction curve because it, the compaction curves may vary depending upon the compacting energy so in the figure we see a two compacting uh, uh, two compaction curves one is for a uh, standard proctor test wherein we uh, also call it as a low compacting effort or it is called as a light compaction and another curve is a high compacting effort that is a heavy compaction test and as a result of this increase in the compacting energy it is observed that the optimum moisture content reduced and the maximum dry density has increased thus the compacting energy also plays a very important role in the compaction and obviously the compact the compaction properties also will get change so these are certain review questions let us take a pause go through these questions think over it and resume the video the first question is in a compaction test as the compaction effort is increased the omc four options are given the second question the increase in dry density during compaction occurs mainly due to again four options so think over it get the answer and resume the video these are the answers the first one in a compaction test as the compaction effort is increased the omc decreases so this we have seen in the earlier slide that as the energy increases the compacting energy is increased the optimum moisture content starts decreasing whereas the maximum dry density increases so a is the correct option and for the second question the increase in dry density during compaction occurs mainly due to expulsion of air so at the beginning when we discuss the compaction phenomena there we have seen that this particular densification is taking place basically due to expulsion of air voids so in the compaction process exclusively the expulsion of air takes place which will result into increase in the density of the soil these are the references used for this presentation thank you